Zuba here, continuing with part two of Music from Hollywood, the liner notes from the album uh, on Stereo 360 Sound. Continuing with um, Franz Waxman took the stage, Music from a Place in the Sun, 1951. Franz Waxman conducted his music. It is a long step from a teenager on a piano stool in Berlin jazz band of the 20s to the director of the annually anticipated concerts of the Los Angeles International Music Festival. Yet this is the scope of the Franz Waxman saga. Since the early 30s, Waxman has made important and inventive contributions to the best of the repertoire of film music in this piece, drawn from his Academy Award score for A Place in the Sun. The dazzling alto saxophone solo is played by Ted Nash. And then, Prelude from Ben-Hur, 1959, as Miklos Roja himself takes the stage. Miklos Roja, as well known internationally for his varied compositions in the concert field and for his conducting of leading symphony orchestras as he is for his film scores has become the outstanding musical voice for cinema epics of ancient times in fact when he recently composed the score for mgm's modern story for the vips he must have felt like a character from television's twilight zone <laughs> <laughs> in his prelude from Ben Hur, we hear the character, the, char the characteristic sound of open fourths and fifths, Doctor Rosa's, Doctor Rosa's Roman trademark, combined with the equally characteristic, long, strong, sweeping melodic line that sings in all his works. Original score from Ben Hur is available on MGM Records, one E one, one S E one. Next was a theme from a summer place with Max Steiner conducting. No, he was, uh, Max Steiner, I best believe, had passed away by that time. And so it was Percy Faith conducting that night at the bowl. Max Steiner wrote one of the first truly explosive scores for an American sound film. His score for The Informer drew worldwide attention to American film music and gained for this kind of composition some of its early serious consideration as an art form. Years later, Percy Faith, most impressed by Steiner's theme from Mustama Place, made one of the most delightful orchestral settings and recorded it for Columbia Records at the time of the picture's release. That recording has the kind of sweep of which all recording artists dream. How fortunate that he was in California and able to accept Mr. Steiner's invitation to conduct that same setting for this concert. So evidently Steiner was still alive and asked Percy Faith to come to the bowl and conduct it for him. Home run style applause greeted the performance and the bow of the composer, undisputed granddaddy of modern film scoring. Next on the program was Rain Tree Country, three times for symphony orchestra. 1957, John Green, composer and conductor. John Green's Rain Tree Country, th three themes for symphony orchestra, has uh, been performed during the six years of his life, uh, of its life, by several of the country's great orchestras. The piece is derived from the score originally composed for the film Rain Tree Country, one of the early colossi intended to save the motion picture industry from the doldrums it was then experiencing. The film was less than a smash, but the score did succeed. It was nominated for an Academy Award, and it has lived. Mr. Green's characteristic sartorial insignia, a white carnation, was conspicuous by its omission at the concert in deference to his non-floral colleagues. But David Raxon, in, in introduction, introducing Green, said, with or without his white carnation, his performance will show him to be precisely what he is, a genuinely, genuinely gifted man. We then had the memory waltz from the snows of Kilimanjaro. Bernard Herrmann took the stage. The composer conducted his own music. The composer and conductor, both here and abroad, Bernard Herrmann is also a champion of the world of other of the work of other American composers. 
in recent years preoccupation with matters of size has dominated American motion picture thinking giant screens 360 degree lenses six track sound and music to match thus Herman's transparently scored elegantly simple brass barren uh, memory waltz added a del delicate dimension to this concert mr Herman's music reminds us that the waltz symbolizes ernest hemingway's uh, recollections of his youth in paris and then uh, dimitri tiomkin took the stage uh, with mahalia jackson as she sang the green leaves of summer from the alamo <clears throat> if only if one were asked to point out a thoroughly effective human being he could select dmitri tiomkin without fear or contradiction music making expresses his talent the achievement of international fame fulfills his ego successful negotiation negotiating gratifies his gamemanship the use of his epic dialect satisfies satisfies his uh, comedic need his gift for gracious hospitality gives him happiness you have never been a guest until tiomkin has been your host mahalia jackson joined our cast as tiomkin's at tiomkin's invitation to sing the song she had previously recorded recorded with him the guild and the audience were grateful to both of them she sings the green leaves of summer a hauntingly folkish american ballad that feelingly uh, bespeaks our melting pot tradition with its suggestion of tiomkin's Russia. said david raxon in his closing remarks such an evening as this one poses to those charged with the responsibility of its production several insoluble problems one of them how do you present within the limits of time all the music deserving of presentation answer you can't neither could all the music recorded at the bowl be included in one lp we salute those who appeared either in person or through their works on both but were not included in this recording here we go so these are all the musicians and composers that contributed and appeared i guess um but did not um did not uh, get uh, on the album elmer bernstein nelson riddle gerald goldsmith mac davis fred steiner frank duvall pete Rugolo, Harry Sukman, uh, John Williams, Jerome Morose, Maros, Maros, Melian Merrick, Sammy Fain, Harold Adamson, Lee Harline, Hugo Friedhofer, uh, George Dun Dunning, Dunning, Ernest Gold, Bronislaw Caper, Steve Allen, Ken Darby, Helen Deutsch, Ned Washington, Johnny Mandel, Jay Livingston, Ray Evans, Johnny Mercer, Harry Warren, Sammy Kane, Sammy Kahn, Jimmy Van Usen, Henry Mancini, the late dearly beloved Victor Young. So all those composers contributed music, and I think I don't think they were all there. Some of them might have been, but I think maybe Nelson Riddle or someone else did a medley of um, of television themes. Um, thanks to arranger Gil Graw and Alexander Courage for their invaluable help in the preparation of two of the works absent from the recording but importantly present at the bowl on wednesday september twenty fifth nineteen sixty three motion pictured and television music was indeed music unobscured and the concert stage played by a full symphony orchestra assembled from the topmost ranks of hollywood's recording musicians a truly virtuoso ensemble audience audience critics and we ourselves labeled the evening a success and an inviting herald of more to come we accept the challenge john d f black and john green what a magnificent night like i say uh, that should have, that would have been that was i'm sure it was hopefully in the future someone will unearth the um, the actual broadcast video of this wonderful event and we can enjoy it in all of its wonderful glory Let's hope that this does happen someday. Zuba signing off and saying thank you for stopping by.